tactics is knowing what to do when there is something to do. Strategy is knowing what to do when there is nothing to do. Don't try to play the game that goes against your natural instincts. Unless you know who you are, it's very difficult to identify what is the best strategy for you, whether it be on the chessboard or elsewhere. If you can recognize the strengths and weaknesses of your opponent, then you can start thinking about designing the game that will be beneficial for you, and will be most annoying for your opponent. During the match, when you deal with psychology, one player against another one, you have to be comfortable. And you have to make your opponent uncomfortable. If you play the game that is not making you feel comfortable, if you don't enjoy it, if you don't feel that this game can unleash your creative potential, then you're already on the losing side. If you don't see an immediate win, an immediate breakthrough, just make a few quiet moves. Let your opponent play, give them a chance to weaken their positions. That's one of my lessons from my early days. Not every move has the same value in terms of determining the course of the events. Some of the moments are absolutely vital. It's like reaching a crossroad and if you miss your right turn, it will be like the roads of Arizona. The next one will be in 50 miles. It's very important that you recognize that this is the moment, I have to concentrate, I have to use more time, I have to find the move, because this move determines which way the game goes. You should remember that when you make a move, the opponent makes a move. And anything can change. If you have your plans, you should try to make sure the opponent doesn't realize where the danger is coming from too early. Remember that some of your plans may not work out if your opponent prevents them from happening, so that is why maybe have a psychological distraction on the other side of the board could help you move forward more efficiently. In many cases you don't have a winning or losing move. If you want to change the nature of the game, if you want to make it sharper, if you want to create something that is less comfortable for your opponent, then you move on with the moves that are not perfect by pure chess standards.